All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to James's Minecraft journal. Um, now, this is a video in which I will be talking about several subjects, namely in my absence, where I was gone, why I was gone. Uh, secondly, I'll be talking about 1.9, and finally, I will be touching on Blossom UHC and my experience with that, because that recorded round ended um, on Monday. So yeah. Let's get right into it. Uh, so I've not logged into James's Minecraft journal for two weeks, and last time I was logged in, uh, this is what happened. Oh, they got off their horses. Oh, that's kind of lame. They were on their horses a minute ago. Oh, unless they got off their horses automatically, because that's what happens to, like, players in water. So, as you can see, we're at the witch farm. See, so, yeah, I was at AFK, like, over there. I'll show you what we got in a minute. But as you can see, there was, like, odd horses just, like, standing around, because there must have been a thunderstorm. There was, there was another one. So I, well, I swam over to this one, and they all separated into like four. And I'm not sure if that's how ordinary skeletal horses like work, but it was really strange. Yep, as you can see. Okay, I killed one horse. Oh, well, I'm going to die. Not good. No, don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, okay, I didn't think they'd be that strong. I think there's a small chance a creeper will spawn because, or like a zombie, when the piston head goes down, there might be a slight moment when there's like no water on it, and therefore it might be able to spawn things. But I'm not sure. Mm, it appears that we have got skeleton residue, but that might just be. Cha, I don't know. We should take those arrows though, cause or that one arrow. Uh, so yeah, this is what we got. Oh whoa! I've completely forgotten the amount of stuff we got. But as you can see, this was one night. This was one night of, um, <laughs> yes, as you can see, sticks, there's quite a lot. One night of AFK got us that much. I'll probably do some more, some more AFKing. But, uh, but yeah, so far so good. Okay, we might have a cave here. I'm not entirely sure. We shall see. Um, so yeah, I guess I, I want to keep this episode as short as flipping possible. The first thing I want to talk about is my absence. So, I was uploading videos, true, but I wasn't on Skype, I wasn't on TeamSpeak, I wasn't playing Minecraft. Um, anyone, anyone with, uh, anyone that does any of those things with me regularly will know that. Um, th why was I gone? Well, basically, we're going back to, not the Friday that's just gone, but the Friday before that. Late afternoon for me, I was playing UHCs with Sender. And that was going fine, and we uh, we parted company, I think, evening for me, afternoon for him. And I went and did other stuff and then played another UHC later in the evening at about 11 o'clock. And I it, it wasn't that interesting, I was I was actually speaking to someone, like an IR, IRL friend on social media, um, while I was playing this UHC game. And it was actually, there was some interesting moments, like it wasn't, like an amazing game, but there was a few, a couple of moments that I might upload because they were kind of unique. I was like only half paying attention to the game because I was talking to this guy on social media that I know from uh, from college. I died, and so then I decided to phone this guy. So we spent a good hour on the phone, uh, just chatting together, uh, kind of catching up because we hadn't seen each other in a while. He notified me to the fact that I had two assignments, two major assignments for my college degree, or uni degree I guess you could say, as well as a dissertation draft that was due in the following week. So I had, I had a lot of work in over the next week, and actually the week after there was a an assignment due in, so that, well, that was about three things I had to see to, and they're, like, I'd done nothing on any of them, and so I was kind of, kind of in a bit of a panic, it was like, oh man, this is like, my entire degree relies on the, these, this, these pieces of work and I've not put any effort into them. That was partly my fault, because I should have been more organised, but I mean, I did have that. I, I, I was unwell, which I'll mention in a bit. I was I was unwell, and so I kind of had an excuse uh, as to why I hadn't done them. So, on, I actually tried to play it badly. I do a bad line 1v1 while I was on the phone with him, but I realised I could he could probably hear my spam clicking, so I decided it was not the best idea, so I ceased from PvPing while I was on the phone. Anyway, uh, I woke up the following morning, on Saturday, and 
I pretty much just like kind of lay in bed for a bit, and I was like, you know, I, I've got to just go back to college and just get this done. Because I mean, I was still at home, kind of recovering from my illness. I was meant to be going down to Glasgow, which is Scotland's biggest city, for a sporting event, and I just was like, you know, it's it's not worth it. I need to, I need to do this college work. Um, in going up north uh, to college, I did not take that much with me. In fact, I didn't even I didn't take the uh, I didn't take the laptop I came on because I wanted to focus on the college work and I didn't have enough space in my bag. Well, no, I did have enough space to take it up, but I wouldn't have had enough to, uh, space to bring it back because I am currently kind of moving out of my college uh, home because I won't be able to stay there next year. And so I had to bring a lot of stuff back with me. So I've not moved out fully yet, but a lot of my stuff's gone. So yeah, uh, that's part of the reason why I was gone. And like I took my old laptop up with me because I need that for the college work that I was going to be doing. And I was able to upload videos from there. And yeah, things are good. I'm back after a couple of weeks of not being on the gaming scene. Oh, oh, this is nice. Nice skeleton spawner. It's not a uh, 1.9, but I mean, uh, I mean 1.9 chests, but uh, I'll take anything. Next thing, 1.9. Now, I was going to make a video defending 1.9 and critiquing it. I was going to make one back in mid-February, but then decided not to. And like, ever since then, I've kind of gone, you know, between ideas. I was like, should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? Should I do it? Kind of thing. And I came to the conclusion after loads of time thinking that I could come up with the best arguments that defend 1.9 unquestionably, but there would still be haters. So I'm not even going to bother trying. Basically with 1.9, it's all entirely um, subjective. It's all opinionated. If It's, it's like... Um, it's like Justin Bieber. It's like Cristiano Ronaldo. You either love them or you hate them. And uh, that's the same with 1.9. You either love it or you hate it. Uh, personally, I... I don't mind it. I don't hate it. And if we're dealing in absolutes, that means I love it. You know, I'm, I'm willing to give 1.9 a chance. I've given it a chance and it's... it's for me, it's, it's pretty enjoyable. Like, especially the PvP. Um... I would say the few things there's there are a few things I'm I'm not a fan of like I don't like I'm not a fan of the sword animation I mean I understand why it's there but I'm I'm just not a, like a massive fan of it I and I don't like the shields like how they're so big I don't have a problem with the fact shields block all the damage uh, I know tons of people don't like that but I personally don't have a problem with it but I've just seen so many comments that are like Oh, 1.9 sucks, and like that's it. It's like okay, so it's bad about it. There's they they have they give a baseless argument, which is really annoying. But yeah, I I personally enjoy it. I enjoy 1.8 too. I hate 1.7. Don't get me started on 1.7. I still like 1.8. Not ready to give up on that yet, but I um I'm I like I like 1.9 as well. It's it's different. I think yeah, some people aren't going to agree with this, but I. I've played it for so long, and sometimes it's nice just to have a different feel for combat, and I'm happy for that. I'm happy that combat's now got a different feel, and it's slightly harder to kill mobs. You can't just spam click in that. Not saying I don't like spam clicking, but I'm just saying that's this makes it slightly harder. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I have to say with that. What do we not need? And I'm gonna guess. I guess talk about uh, Blossom UHC. Now, <laughs> let's. I need to disclaimer. Okay, before I start talking about this, it's gonna sound like I'm making excuses. Okay, I want you to know that I am tr not making excuses. I am. I'm just merely representing things as they happened. Okay, I'm. I'm not making any sort of excuses, uh, whatsoever. Okay. So please don't come to that, those assumptions. Blossom UHC uh, ended on Monday. Spoilers, I didn't win, but that's okay, because mo the most important thing in a recorded round is the uh, entertainment value. You want to make good video. Um, if you win and don't make good video, then in my opinion, you've actually lost. <laughs> um, I should say I'm not trying to get at anyone here either. I'm I'm just that's just merely my opinion of what makes a good recorded round. 
Um, although I'll come more into that in a minute. So, yeah. Overall, the season went well. I enjoyed teaming with Lig uh, Mr. Lig a lot. I had a lot of fun. Um, that's the main thing. It's the main thing, I think. Because, I mean, if you don't have fun in an RR, there's no real point in doing it. And uh, I certainly certainly had fun, even though I didn't I didn't achieve that much PvP wise, but that's okay. I do need to draw people's attention to what I mentioned earlier. I mentioned I did have an illness, and that illness took place at the time of um, this Blo uh, Blossom UHC. At the time it was recorded, oh, basically two days before Blossom UHC had been rec uh, was recorded, I spent eight hours in casualty, and was diagnosed with a kidney stone which was pretty fun, I can tell you. <laughs> um, I Let's just say, if I was to tell you how sore it was, one of the nurses apparently compared it to other things that you'd expect to be sore. That's how sore it was. Very sore. Worst pain I've ever felt. And I've suffered from three collapsed lungs. Um, that's... I'm sorry... I also should say I'm not looking for sympathy either. I, the reason I said that was because I was just get, I was giving you a basis of why I'm qualified to tell you how painful a kidney stone is. Just hope you never get it because it's a real pain. Anyway, um, I was at the hospital. They gave me really, really, really strong painkillers, which was absolutely fantastic. I was actually okay. I think Saturday because Saturday I went home, so I could be cared for at home and. Saturday evening I played Skywars with Zenger and I felt fine then. Sunday Sunday I felt better. Uh, I didn't feel better better, I was still unwell. Because like, oh, the way a kidney stone works is it stays in your system until it gets flushed out automatically. Unless they operate on it. Um, and basically, it was still there but I, the painkillers were, were working, so that was good. Then, I, participate, I participated in Blossom UHC. And I was fine at the start, I stocked up on painkillers, everything was fine. But the more the season got on, because the season lasted about a couple hours I think, the longer that played out, the more um, painful my back and my side and my stomach got, because that's kind of the area of the kidney. Lower stomach, lower back, uh, lower side. And I feel that this... <sighs> I think this messed things up in two ways. One, for the final battle, okay, now, I for the final battle, obviously Zenger killed me. Um, now, I wasn't doing so well at the bow, for starters. Um, that's, I don't think, had anything to do with it. Sometimes I, I'm good at the bow, sometimes I suck. So that was just, unfortunately, the day I sucked at it. Oh, more diamonds, nice. So yeah, bow, not, no excuses, I was just bad that day. But as far as decision making go, went before be, uh, beyond that, put it this way, um, whenever I play UHC, even if it's like, just simply um, for fun, on Eximius or Reddit or whatever, I, I, I don't actually listen to any music, I don't um, talk to anyone unless it's a teammate, I, you know, I, I take it pretty seriously, and I don't let any other thing, anything else distract me. In this case, what I'm trying to say is I had an extra distraction that wouldn't go away. It was a increasing pain in my side. And I feel that kind of stopped me, or it, it affected some of my decision making, particularly at the end there, when I charged Zenger. Um, I feel that that was, I charged him on the basis that I was in, I was in, in an urgent mood to get the th to, th to get the fight over with because I was hurting and just wanted it to end basically so like I didn't go in just to like die that's not what I'm saying I I, I ran in to try and kill him quickly so that we could move on to the next fight um, that obviously was the wrong decision and I should say that okay yes I'm saying that that affect the the fight I was focused on my my pain as well as the fight and that affected things but honestly. Even if I was 100% well, Zedra may still have won that fight. In fact, he probably would have, because he's got so much better at melee. Uh, he's so much better at melee than me already. Um, so in no way, shape or form am I saying Zedra did not deserve that kill. Zedra did deserve that kill. Um, I'm not saying that he 
wouldn't have got that kill if I hadn't been in pain. He could well have. In fact, there's a high chance he would have, given how badly I was doing. All I'm saying is that I feel it did make a decision, and it did, um, it it did affect that that battle um, more than it appeared in the video. And it wasn't just decisions; it was. I felt my enjoyment over the last few episodes kind of waned simply because I was feeling it so much. In fact, if you notice carefully, I actually get a bit exasperated at lag a lot a few times. Um, and again, this is out of character. Normally, I would I try to treat everyone fairly and everything like that. And unfortunately, in this case, I was kind of exasperated at the pain in my back and I kind of uh, took it out on lag a lot. I mean, it wasn't like aggressive or anything like that. It was just kind of an irritable attitude, so it's kind of like we're both getting annoyed at each other, but we're not showing it, kind of thing. Um, and at one point, I think when we're staircasing up, I kind of apologised to him, and he he shows understanding, which is nice of him. He he understood. He was he's a he's a, a nice guy, un, uh, understanding. So yes, it was it was bad, but it could have been worse. As far as like our uh, our understanding of over the situation went, it was actually quite funny that uh, Mr. Lagolot said, oh, I I'm sorry, I'm not very good at PvP. <laughs> and then he went and did so much better than me in the, in the fight, which was quite funny. I, I loved watching his perspective. And Zenger's, to be fair. They both had good episode nines. I feel that the content I produced in the latter few episodes was severely limited. It, was, it wasn't it was as good, I think. I mean, maybe that was the case for the whole season. I, I don't know. You'd have to ask people that watched it. Um, but yeah, that was all due to the, the kidney stone. So yeah, apologies for that. Apologies if that sounds a lot like just excuse, simple excuses, but I it's the truth. It's what I was feeling at the time. And it's it it's kind of annoying, but at the same time I, I had fun nonetheless, so that's that's all you can ask for. Um I guess just briefly I want to talk about the outcome of the season. So obviously Zendra got three kills which is fantastic. I was really happy for him. Um, unfortunately, Zendra died in a, like, not a very good way. And I, he spoke about this in his uh, Hardcore Let's Play. And he said that it kind of like, it, it wasn't a way that he wanted to go out. And that's that's fair enough. Entirely understandable. From my point of view, obviously I'm not Zendra, I felt it was bad. Well, obviously it's bad for the reason Zendra stated. But I felt cleanups like the way he died was a cleanup slash backstab while he was at low health or well, no I think he was actually high health but you know he was quickly at low health because it was a backstab. Um, basically, the point is that in a recorded round, I will I will defend like cleanups on Eximius on Reddit on Badline all day every day because they're a legitimate strategy. Um, if you're not as good at PvP as, you know, the best players, like me, I'm not very good, then it's a legitimate strategy to win fights. However, I feel in a recorded round, the rules change, because in a recorded round, the aim is not to win, the aim is to prov uh, provide good content. I feel in a recorded round, a clean-up slash backstab is just cheap footage. It's like, it's not even, like, yeah. Basically, it's... It didn't make for a good video. Well, it, it kind of did, because Zenger wasn't, like, ten-hearted. He was just... Um, he did kind of make a fight out of it, which was all right. But, I mean, you don't, you don't want that sort of stuff in, a, in an RR, because it it doesn't make for good... It's not like a, an exciting fight. You want an exciting fight, like the one Zenger, myself, and Mr. Lagala had. That was, that was pretty exciting. Lasted a long time, and it was good. But you don't, you don't want just a simple clean-up with the guys, like, a couple of hits. And it's just easy pickings, so that that would be my um, concern over uh, over that the way Zenger died. I mean, obviously, Zenger's got the right to be miffed that he he died in that sort of a way. But from my point of view, you ideally want good footage. You don't want just a one hit clean up or two hit clean up. I would argue that cleanups are appropriate sometimes in RRs, but you need to really make a judgement. And I think in that particular scenario, um, in that particular scenario, it was not right. 
I guess when I say right scenario, I mean like for example, if it's a massive recorded round and the guy that you're killing is decked out and there's no way to beat him, I think then you've got a kind of a almost a right of um, winning. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Yep, it was a mistake. Oh. Uh, I guess in some scenarios you just need to make a judgment that what I it, you know if I do this will it make for good footage kind of thing. Now I say this and I will probably next recorded round I do I'll probably do something that will make for bad footage. Okay, I'm not perfect. Just but I'm I'm just merely suggesting what might make a better recorded round. Also, I feel if there's like technical issues like you know glitches or whatever, I feel that. That should be dealt with between the moderators and the player instead of everyone else getting involved because that kind of like i'm not saying it, I'm, I'm not again i'm not getting anyone i just felt that footage in i think it was episode seven when the apples were lost yeah the footage there kind of fell flat and it kind of fell flat from our perspective too because i think i heard mr laglot comment it and i co and i commented on it as well so yep but overall i think I think it was quite enjoyable. I watched most perspectives. I watched Zenger's, I watched ours. I watched uh, Green Team, Turtle and Grayson. They did well. They were, they were in their footage was quite entertaining and so was Zenger's. Really happy about that. Hopefully season 2 will come out. Hopefully I'll be in it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to end it there. Uh, I'm going to try... I, oh, okay, I know if things went to plan there should be two videos today. Uh, but I'm not making any promises about doing two videos a day because I, I'm i still just happy with one. One video a day is fine and I'm going to try and keep that up for as long as I can. This is actually a really good cave. I'm probably just going to stay here and continue uh, looking through it. Why was there so many skeletons up there? That's what I want to know. But yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.